Ding, your mirror evolution point plus one, evolved into a magic mirror, ding, your goose feather pen evolution point plus one, evolved into the pen of fate, ding, your pocket watch evolution point plus one, evolved into a clock of time the gods have revived, the divine kingdom has reappeared, and Qin Nan, who has arrived in the world of firearms and steel, has embarked on an extraordinary path with the ability of infinite evolution. I have completed this masterpiece, including, I have a sticky card, Rise of the Supreme, and, Killing Heroes with Me. If you like it, you can take a look. Keywords of the novel I have an evolution point without pop-ups, I have an evolution point. Download the complete TXT collection, and I have an evolution point to read the latest chapter. Chapter 1 Mirror 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 tells me. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Mirror 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 tells me under the dim gas lamp, Chin Nan's face was a bit stiff. Chin Nan rubbed his face hard and endured the pain all night, making him feel a bit uncomfortable. What kind of lamp is this, what kind of table is this, this is a quill pen, this is the strange scene in front of Chin Nan made him feel that he was in a simulated drama of a certain steam era. I just fell asleep in a daze, which guy played a prank and brought me here. I, where the hell am I? A piercing pain instantly invaded him, and under the stimulation of this pain, Chin Nan felt like he was on the verge of collapse. Frame by frame, Chin Nan's heart flooded in one after another. He was surprised to find a strangely dead body in his room. He saw a young man with blonde hair and blue eyes, who died in terror. What's going on here, why am I Chin Nan, who was both shocked and afraid, noticed a silver-plated glass mirror placed on the table, and what the mirror reflected was the face of the dead boy. This is my face, I'm already dead. Chin Nan was greatly surprised. Chin Nan, who was still in shock, hurriedly looked around and saw a burning fireplace, showing a cracked ancient bell and a parchment scroll with something written on it I have traveled through a dream. At the moment when this consciousness rose in Chin Nan's heart, his mood was terrible. He doesn't want to travel. He lives a fulfilling life, what is he doing while traveling? Glancing around, Chin Nan's most thought was to open the window and rush out, hoping it was just a dream. On the thick oak window was a dim dark green glass. Looking out through the glass, Chin Nan almost scared to pee. He saw a figure floating in the void. This figure is shadowy and wandering a hundred meters away. The white clothes in the moonlight appear even more eerie and terrifying, ah. Help someone, Yu Lu is dead. Yu Lu is dead. Crazy cries came through the window. At that moment, the figure floating in the void suddenly turned its head and looked towards Chin Nan. This was a grayish-white face, with two hollow eyes flowing with drops of blood. In the moment she looked over, Chin Nan suddenly felt that she was laughing. That's right, she's just laughing. After only a second of staring at each other, Chin Nan felt as if a cold snake had crawled through his heart, afraid to take another look. At this moment, his first instinctive reaction was to quickly escape this eerie world. What kind of ghost place is this? It's too scary, I can't do it. I need to run away quickly thoughts surged in Chin Nan's heart, and the mournful cries came through the window again. Yu Lu is dead, the groom Yu Lu is dead. Listening to the mournful roar, Chin Nan's mind was filled with the first picture that had just flooded into his mind. A body with a red beard and a tall skeleton, like a dried bone, lying on the straw. And in that scene, someone was speaking. Yu Lu is so pitiful. Chin Nan didn't know who said this, but upon hearing the news of Yu Li's death, he felt a layer of goosebumps on his back. According to the image in his heart, ten days later, the deceased will be the young man he is currently traveling through, the heir of Sheffield Manor. Anton Hardensalen. There are 267 people in the manor, and each one is going to die. Thinking of those terrifying scenes and the young man who ultimately died helplessly, Chin Nan's heart slowly sank. Although he is mentally stronger than a teenager, he is just an ordinary person compared to a teenager. What should we do? What should I do myself? In a panic, 
Chin Nan instinctively searched around the room, hoping to find a weapon that could defend himself. However, in this room, all he saw were books, pens, mirrors a stone shimmering with a jet black glow. Chin Nan, who saw this kind of stone for the first time, picked it up easily. Just as he was about to carefully observe, he felt that with a light touch in his hand, the stone silently dissipated into the void. And just as the stone disappeared, Chin Nan felt a force pouring into him. You now have an evolution point, please choose the item you want to evolve. A line of text silently appeared in Chin Nan's heart. An evolutionary point, an item to evolve. What is the situation? Almost instinctively, Chin Nan's finger landed on the gilded glass mirror. The evolution of the gilded silver glass mirror is plus one, transforming it into a magic mirror that can observe all movements within a radius of 100 meters. With this line of words appearing in Chin Nan's mind, a line of words appeared on the silver-plated glass mirror that Chin Nan felt he had only seen for the first time but knew the meaning. Respected master, your servant is at your service. Looking at this line of words, Chin Nan breathed a sigh of relief. Anyway, he has something to talk to at this moment. What just happened? Great master, is this your test for me? Just now, a low dot level evil spirit killed the groom. How can it hide from your piercing eyes? The golden handwriting appeared again on the mercury mirror. Evil spirits, what kind of thing? Just as Chin Nan was puzzled, a line of words appeared again on the mirror. Great master, as my creator, please give me a name. Call it a magic mirror. Chin Nan thought of something else and casually said. Magic mirror, what a great name. It has profound connotations but is easy to understand. In a low dot key way, it implies grandeur, in an ordinary way, it implies transcendence. Master, you are truly a top dot notch genius, and only someone like you can create me. Looking at the rows of colorful handwriting, Chin Nan secretly asked himself, how could I not know that I am so outstanding? Am I not smart enough to be obvious enough? After mocking himself for a moment, he asked the magic mirror again, can you deal with evil spirits? Great master, you let the elegant and wise magic mirror of one air engage in battles. Isn't this a waste of talent and resources? It's like using famous paintings to pave the carpet. Looking at the lines of words, Chin Nan was speechless for a moment, wishing to smash this despicable mirror. This guy is too verbose. Just say it directly, is it okay or not? The magic mirror seemed to sense Chin Nan's impatience and cautiously said, Master, I cannot fight. In the future, just answer directly. Just as Chin Nan was about to ask again, the magic mirror revealed a line of words. Someone is coming. Before Chin Nan could react, there was a gentle knock on the door. Chin Nan shouted in his memory, Come in. A maid wearing a gray long dress and a patched apron tied around her waist pushed the door and walked in, saying, Lord, Steward Ziston wants to see you. Seeing the freckles on the maid's face, Chin Nan's mind quickly conjured up a picture that made him feel fearful. After you Lu, the second deceased in the estate. Open up new books, seek support, and collect them. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. The Transcendent. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 2. The Transcendent Ziston was an old man in his fifties, not tall, with a back like a bow full of strings, and a pair of eyes resembling night pearls embedded in their sockets, looking full of vitality and energy. Anton's parents have been dead for seven years, and this Ziston butler is actually Anton's guardian, the actual manager of Sheffield Manor. It will take another year for Anton Hardensalen to hold his coming-of-age ceremony and officially take over Sheffield Manor. Lord, the coachman Yulu has drunk too much and has gone to the Temple of Thunder. We need a new coachman, Ziston said respectfully, placing his left hand in his heart and gently bending his body to bow. Chin Nan has a clear memory of how Ma Fu Yulu died. That withered and devoid of any flesh and blood, it is absolutely impossible that it was due to drinking too much. Ziston knew the truth, 
but was not prepared to tell himself. This may be out of goodwill, not wanting the young lord to see things he shouldn't have seen. But what Qin Nan needs is not this kind of concealment. Qin Nan looked at Qi siding with a serious expression and said calmly, Yu Lu has worked hard in the manor all his life. I'll go see him. Zistin was a bit panicked, but soon returned to normal. Lord, the deceased may have been plagued without the pastor's prayer. Lord, you still shouldn't go and see it. Although Zistin was advising, there was an undeniable tone in his tone. In Qin Nan's heart, information about Kaziding quickly emerged. This servant, who had been with the Hardensalen family for many years, had a great influence in Sheffield Manor, and his words were generally difficult for underage Anton to resist. Is it useful to go see you Lu on your own? Thinking of the team that could arm more than forty people in the manor, Qin Nan shook his head secretly. The armament of this manor is good against ordinary thieves, but the eerie evil spirits upon this thought, Qin Nan changed his mind and nodded, since that's the case, then I won't go see you Lu. Uncle Kaziding, Please give more compensation to the Yule family and make Yule's funeral more dignified. Qin Nan's words made Kaziding breathe a sigh of relief. Yu Li's death made him feel fearful, and he didn't want it to scare the young lord. Don't worry, lord. I know what to do. Qin Nan looked at the unchanged gilded silver mirror and casually said, I don't know where the black stone that pressed the table fell from. Can you help me get another one, Uncle Justin? Justin shook his head and said, the black stone was purchased by your father, Baron, by chance. There's only one piece. Wait a moment, I'll have someone find a similar stone and bring it to the Lord. After hastily saying a few words to Qin Nan, Kaziding bid farewell and left the vast room, leaving only Qin Nan and the gilded mirror. Mirror, what is Kaziding doing? Qin Nan asked quietly after confirming that Kaziding had gone far away. Great Master, Justin is arranging for a warrior to go to the church to invite Reverend Proud. The golden handwriting reappeared in the mirror. Qi Siding asked someone to invite a pastor, which made Qin Nan feel that Qi Siding was not confused yet. But according to the scenes in his memory, it seems useless for Zistin to ask for Reverend Proud. Otherwise, the images in one's own memory will not appear again. Thoughts surged one by one, and Qin Nan felt a darkness in front of him. He almost didn't fall to the ground. Dear Master, your mental strength is too weak. Overuse of magic mirrors can lead to the depletion of your mental strength. On the gilded mirror, a line of font quickly appeared and then quickly dissipated. Too weak in mental strength. Overuse of magic mirrors. Qin Nan took a breath and slowly sat down in his seat. He felt a slight burst in his head, but in the end, he couldn't help but ask, how can I improve my mental strength? Dear Master, if you can become a transcendent, your spiritual power will naturally increase. The silver mirror reflects a golden handwriting. For your great master, becoming a transcendent is too easy. As long as you can become an extraordinary person, magic mirror can serve you at any time. Looking at the lines of handwriting, Qin Nan felt a bit headache, and those words began to become ghosting. After closing his eyes and resting on the table for a long time, Qin Nan finally felt a lot of relief. He picked up the glass adorned with roses and took a sip of water, then turned his gaze back to the magic mirror. What is a transcendent? How to become a superhero? Two thoughts have been surging in Qin Nan's heart, but now he is a bit afraid to ask the magic mirror. Dong dong dong. A gentle knock on the door rang out, and Qin Nan, who had averted his gaze from the magic mirror, spoke in. The freckled maid carried an oak plate with a delicate double-headed eagle lamp holder and candles made of butter, illuminating the surroundings. A pan-fried beef, a dark soup, and a long white bread. On top of the white bread, there are two sliced onions and half a glass of wine. Qin Nan smelled the aroma of beef and felt a movement in his throat. At this moment, he realized how hungry he was. Your dinner is ready, Lord. As the freckle maid spoke, 
she placed plates on a small table not far from Chin Nan's desk. Looking at the burning candle, Chin Nan's face suddenly changed. He turned his head to look outside and saw that it was already dark. It's getting dark, according to Chin Nan's memory, this freckled maid died after dark. The butler said that he has some other matters to attend to and won't be dining with you today. If you need anything, please let me know, the maid said softly. Chin Nan hesitated for a moment, then waved his hand and said, you go down first. After the freckle maid left, Chin Nan took a big sip of wine and his heart was filled with chaos. You can't sit and wait for death, you absolutely can't sit and wait for death. All of this can be changed, and Chin Nan is preparing to start with a maid. To change everything, Chin Nan felt that the only thing he could rely on was the magic mirror. Just as Chin Nan's gaze turned to the magic mirror, the calm silver plated mirror began to shine with a colorful light. Accompanied by these five colored lights, Chin Nan saw a line of words. Master, an evil spirit has entered your residence. Seeing this line of words, Chin Nan couldn't help but feel a chill in his spine. Although in his memory, the person he replaced would die in ten days, the freckle maid died today. But his heart still couldn't help but tremble. How can we kill the evil spirit? Chin Nan picked up the wine from his glass and poured it down, anxiously asking. The second one is coming, new book seeking support. Let me talk about the updates. The new books are updated twice a day, at 10 o'clock a.m. and 8 1 p.m. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Spirituality in Painting You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Spirituality in Painting Chin Nan stared at the magic mirror without blinking, hoping that the mirror could give him an accurate answer. The golden handwriting quickly appeared. Great Master, dealing with a small evil spirit is not a trivial matter. It's done in minutes. Chin Nan couldn't help but laugh and cry. This damn magic mirror is so damn narcissistic. At any time, don't forget to boast about yourself. This guy knows he doesn't have enough mental energy, so he's still talking and wasting time here. Speak up. Chin Nan picked up an iron ruler and gestured angrily in his palm. Master, the evil spirit that came this time is a low-dot-level enemy soul. It is now hidden on the second oil painting on the left side of the hall. As long as you pour holy water on the oil painting, the evil spirit will immediately die and rise up. Holy water. What holy water? Chin Nan looked bewildered and immediately remembered the holy water he used to watch when he was a child while traveling to the west. However, the holy water with a strong smell of urine seemed a bit unreliable. Do I have holy water here? Chin Nan felt a bit swollen and asked urgently. The holy water has not been detected yet. However, how can a living person suffocate their urine? The road is impassable, and the magic mirror has other ways. Master, you can burn it with fire. As long as you ignite all the oil paintings within three seconds, the evil spirit will still be dead. This is the simplest way that magic mirror can currently think of, master, you can do it. Of course, there is a better way, which is to use a sword with holy light to pierce into the oil painting. The lines of words made Chin Nan feel a buzzing sound in his head, and he was afraid that if this magic mirror continued to nag, it would definitely make him faint. This guy is such a talkative person. Shut up, if I don't look for you, you'll just consider yourself mute. He shouted at the magic mirror and shifted his gaze to the hot food. White bread, a piece of fried beef, onions, and an unknown soup all emit a rich aroma, successfully arousing Chin Nan's appetite. Anyway, let's eat it first before we talk. Picking up the prepared pure silver knife and fork, Chin Nan picked up a piece of beef and wolfed it down. However, after taking this bite, Chin Nan felt a bit nauseous and his stomach churned with nausea. This fried beef actually has a sour or sweet taste, what about salt? Where is pepper? Perhaps this is the legendary dark cuisine. I had the intention not to eat this strange tasting thing, 
but after thinking about it, Chin Nan still gave in. He was too hungry, it was a pity to throw away the beef, let alone do as the Romans do. Little Anton, who was occupied by himself, seemed to like eating this fried beef very much. If he suddenly stopped eating it, it would be suspicious. Fried beef, white bread, and wine, Chin Nan quickly swept away everything. Pouring the wine into his mouth, Chin Nan felt energetic again. It seems that this bland and tasteless meal can also restore mental energy. His gaze once again fell on the magic mirror, and Chin Nan silently pondered the method suggested by the mirror in his heart. After thinking for a moment, Chin Nan had a plan. He gently shook the ancient copper bell and placed it on the table. After a while, the freckled maid hurriedly ran in. As soon as he saw the clean tray, his face was a bit shocked, but he still respectfully asked, Lord, what do you have to say? At this moment, Chin Nan had no intention of guessing the maid's expression. Without a doubt, he arranged, it's too cold here. Bring me a brazier. The maid agreed and turned her head before leaving, and Chin Nan shouted at her, put the brazier in the hall first. I want to appreciate the oil painting left by my ancestors. The maid nodded and quickly left. Five minutes later, when Chin Nan walked out of the study, a dark brazier had already been placed in the living room. Chopping firewood in the brazier unleashed his passion, and on the silver candlestick, three fingers thick butter candles made Chin Nan barely able to see the structure of the hall clearly. A row of black high chairs, hanging on the main hall of the hall is a four or five meter long thunder god salvation picture. The thunder god, who controls the three dragons chariot, wields his scepter. A series of thunderbolts instantly engulfed the world a giant lion with a human body, coiled up like a mountain serpent, and a detestable demon with sheep horns on its head and a giant hammer in hand they trembled and trembled under the thunder, some directly overwhelmed by it. According to Anton's original memory, this Thor salvation picture was a standard feature in the living rooms of imperial nobles, and almost every noble's living room had such a picture. At this moment, Chin Nan has no mood to appreciate these oil paintings. His thoughts are all on the second oil painting on the left side of the hall. This oil painting is over two meters long and over one meter wide, and it is a bust of a woman. This woman should be an elder of the Hardensalen family, and young Anton has also seen this painting in his daily life. The previously lifeless murals made Chin Nan feel as if they had come to life, because when he saw the painting, Chin Nan felt the eyes of the half-figure lightly blink at him. If it weren't for the reminder from the magic mirror, Chin Nan would definitely feel like he was mistaken. But now, he knows that the magic mirror is right. This painting, there's a problem. The evil spirit is on this painting. What if this painting is completely drawn within three seconds? Chin Nan's mind quickly activated. Although he had a candle at hand, it was difficult for him to completely light the painting within three seconds. If the evil spirit escapes, I'm afraid I'll cause trouble myself. Amy, Amy. Chin Nan shouted loudly after pondering for a moment. The freckled maid quickly ran in and respectfully said, Lord, what do you have to say? What's going on with this painting? What's so much dust? A good painting, it's ruined by you. Chin Nan imitated the tone of Xiao Anton and reprimanded from a condescending position. Amy pouted in grievance, trying to defend herself, but dared not. She lowered her head and used one hand to pick at the other. Hurry up and bring me a basin of water. I need to wipe the oil painting, Chin Nan ordered, feeling it was not appropriate. He changed his tone and said, if water doesn't work, it will damage the color of the oil painting. Go get the bottle of rum from my study and use it to wipe the oil painting brighter. Amy hesitated for a moment and ran all the way to the study. In the empty hall, only Chin Nan and the burning candle, as well as the evil spirit hidden in the half-body painting, were left. Chin Nan suddenly had a thought. What should he do if this evil spirit suddenly takes action against him? Upon this thought, Chin Nan felt a chilly sensation emanating from his feet, which eventually penetrated his entire body, 
causing him to shiver uncontrollably. Coincidentally, at this moment, a gust of wind suddenly blew inexplicably, and the candlelight began to wobble and tremble a few times before going out. The black lights were blazing, as if in peril. A pair of straight and hooked eyes were peering at him, and Chin Nan felt his heart beating faster. Cold sweat flowed out layer by layer, and he dared not even take a breath. A new day, seeking support, end of this chapter. Chapter 4 Second Black Stone You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Second Black Stone Danger lurks everywhere, evil spirits are on the side. The extinguished candlestick unexpectedly ignited a small flame. This eerie scene made Chin Nan's hair stand on end. At this moment, he felt like his feet were cramping and he couldn't even move. Too reckless, I am really too reckless. Just thinking that the target that the evil spirit is going to kill today is Amy, but putting oneself in danger. Just as Chin Nan was feeling extremely scared in his heart, a rapid sound of footsteps came quickly. Lord, this is the rum you want. Amy ran in, her appearance greatly relieved Chin Nan. Fortunately, this evil spirit did not take action against itself. Pour rum onto a cloth, remember to use a clean cloth. Chin Nan said as he pointed to his bust. After wiping it with rum, this painting will be even brighter. Amy quickly handed a cloth filled with rum to Chin Nan. Chin Nan smelled the pungent aroma of the wine and felt that it should be okay. Although he wanted to quickly finish the painting, it would be even more troublesome if the evil spirits were alerted, so Chin Nan chattered to Amy while wiping it. The main focus is on the methods of preserving oil paintings. Chin Nan is completely ignorant of oil painting, and all the so-called methods are fabricated by him. After wiping the entire painting with rum, Chin Nan picked up the half of his body and said, Amy, can you see if this painting is much newer? As he spoke, Chin Nan handed the painting to Amy. Before Amy could pick it up, Chin Nan's hand loosened and the painting instantly landed on the blazing brazier. At this moment, Chin Nan's heart lifted to his throat. He knew that once he failed, the evil spirit would leap out, and at that time, he was likely the first to die. But he can't help but do it. The feeling of sitting and waiting for death is really uncomfortable, Chin Nan shouldn't sit and wait for death. Amy saw a red fireball, which instantly illuminated the entire hall. Fortunately, this fireball dissipated quickly in just an instant. However, she also heard an extremely mournful scream, which was not loud, but when it came to her ears, it made her hair stand on end. She was so frightened that she collapsed to the ground. At this moment, she was trembling like a little quail. When Amy woke up, she saw the surprised young lord and sighed repeatedly, I forgot that wine burns when it encounters fire. What a great mural! What a pity! Lord, what happened? Several soldiers wearing leather armor and wielding spears rushed in. They were the night watchers of the estate, patrolling around and rushing towards the bright light. Just now I burned a painting, Chin Nan coughed and said, that painting fell into the brazier and scared Amy. The soldier rushing in front looked at the ashes in the brazier before finally relaxing. He glanced at Amy and said, don't make a big fuss in the future. Your shout just now was really scary. Amy was stunned, and she also heard screams, but those screams were not made by herself. Just as he was about to argue, Chin Nan smiled and said, that painting is a bit valuable, that's why Amy lost her voice and was momentarily excited. After listening to Chin Nan's explanation, Amy had an illusion. Did the scream just now really come from herself? The soldiers on Chin Nanchung's night patrol waved their hands and said, you guys go get busy. The soldiers left, and Chin Nan walked leisurely towards the study. Only Amy looked at the hall without an oil painting, stunned and at a loss. Did you really shout out that creepy scream just now? Under the control of emotions, this scream is really scary. Sitting on the stiff oak chair, Chin Nan breathed a sigh of relief as he held a finger-sized stone in his hand. 
This is when the half-body painting was burned to ashes, it fell off. The color of this small stone is different from the stone that Anton pressed on the table, but touching this small stone, Qin Nan felt a warm feeling. According to Qin Nan's estimation, the appearance of this stone should be related to the evil spirit that was burned to death. Is it absorbed? The line silently appeared in Qin Nan's heart. Absorption. Qin Nan didn't hesitate and made a decision directly. The stone silently disappeared into Qin Nan's hands, and a line of words appeared in his heart again. You have an evolution point, please choose the object to use. Choose the object to use. The last time you used the evolution point on the gilded silver mirror, it turned into a magic mirror. What is the use for this time? Attack power, what I lack is attack power. Qin Nan thought of the evil spirit and looked at the items in his study. Books, pens, diaries, ancient clocks, paper knives it seems that this paper cutter has some attack power, but if you add an evolution point to it, what will the paper cutter look like? Are you waving a paper cutter and fighting that unknown and dangerous battle? Under hesitation, Qin Nan suddenly thought of an item that his master had cherished, a revolver gifted by a distant relative on his fifteenth birthday. If this revolver evolves, will it be more useful for evil spirits? Almost immediately, Qin Nan walked towards the desk. Picking up the goose feather pen that fell on the ground, a line of words instantly appeared in Qin Nan's heart. The goose feather pen has evolved successfully, and the content it writes can be achieved in 30 seconds without violating the rules. Side effects, users will be pranked once with each use. Being pranked once, this attribute is really enough without violating the rules, achieving 30 seconds is useless as it cannot attack or defend. Qin Nan looked at the revolver with a shimmering blue light, feeling a sense of regret in his heart. A small goose feather pen can evolve, and if it were to evolve a revolver, wouldn't it be a little more life.saving skill for oneself? Hey, it's all my fault for being cheap and insisting on picking up the things that fell on the ground. This is OCD, and OCD is also a disease. I have to make changes, otherwise I won't know how many mistakes I will make in the future. In addition to feeling sad, Qin Nan picked up a feather pen and casually wrote on it, five minutes later, Amy came to the study and hurriedly walked out. After writing such a line of words, Qin Nan felt his head start to ache again. With some experience, he understood that he was now overloaded with the use of spiritual power. Quickly put down the quill pen, Qin Nan turned his gaze to the magic mirror again. Both of these things were useful, but his mental strength was too weak to use them too frequently. Looking at the goose feather pen that seemed to have remained unchanged, Qin Nan couldn't help but say, can you communicate with me? The goose feather pen did not respond, which disappointed Qin Nan and greatly relieved him. Fortunately, this thing is different from a talkative magic mirror. Just as Qin Nan was celebrating, time passed quickly, and five minutes had already passed in the blink of an eye. New Book Seeking Support End of this chapter Chapter 5 Sequential Potions you are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Sequential Potions, Dong 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 A chaotic sound of footsteps came from downstairs, and soon Amy knocked on the door and walked in. Upon seeing Qin Nan, he suddenly panicked and said, Lord, are you still in the study? As soon as Amy finished asking, she felt a wave of embarrassment. What's going on today? Even though she knew the Lord only went to rest after ten o'clock, why did she come over and tidy up the room after eight o'clock? I haven't finished reading this book yet, Qin Nan said casually, holding the goose feather pen. He was also a bit surprised in his heart. Although Amy, who had freckles, was not outstanding in appearance, as a maid, she was still super responsible and would never make such a basic mistake. She usually doesn't come to tidy up the study at this time but now that she's here, is it related to this evolved goose feather pen? Lord, you're busy, I'm leaving. Amy apologized with guilt as she walked out and accidentally knocked over an oak stool placed behind the door. Five minutes later, 
I arrived and hurriedly left, all of which happened truthfully. Chin Nan looked at Amy, who was flustered and helped up the chair, feeling secretly pleased. It seems that this evolved goose feather pen is even more useful than that magic mirror. Feeling proud, he couldn't help but stand up. In just a few steps, he came close to Amy, seemingly wanting to hold her tightly. Chin Nan suddenly realized that his body seemed to be out of his control. A prank. The aftermath of using this goose feather pen. Just as Chin Nan was angry, he had already heard his own voice. The night is long, I don't want to sleep. A good night is worth a thousand dollars. Let's talk about our hearts. Speaking this sentence, Chin Nan was both shy and anxious. A gentleman is honest and straightforward, while a villain is dirty. Chin Nan has no such mentality at all. Fortunately, he soon felt that the control of his body had returned to him, and at that moment, he wished he could throw the quill out of the study. Lord, the butler said, when you're not yet of age, I absolutely can't sleep. If I sleep, the butler will kill me. Amy blushed and explained hesitantly before rushing out. But soon, she returned and lowered her head to give Chin Nan a soft and sticky promise. Lord, don't feel uncomfortable either. When you reach adulthood, I. Amy left, and Chin Nan shook his head helplessly. He came to the goose feather pen and wanted to break it, but in the end, he still put the goose feather pen on the table. Compared to pranks, dealing with the next threat is the most important thing. Mirror, how can I advance to become a superhero? On the calm magic mirror, a golden light quickly rippled out, and a line of words reflected. Great master, becoming an extraordinary person is really a small meaning to you. As long as you are willing, you can become an extraordinary person in various ways. Extraordinary beings through various channels. Although Chin Nan felt a slight pain in his head, he patiently asked, which path do you think is most suitable for me? Great master, which path is suitable for you is not something that ordinary people like me can judge. It should be your own choice, your own choice. Looking at the constantly appearing words, Chin Nan had an impulse to smash this magic mirror. He kept talking nonsense, and every word of it consumed a lot of his mental energy. Speak up. Chin Nan gritted his teeth and ordered. As if sensing Chin Nan's anger, the magic mirror said, you can choose to join the church, so that you may get a potion from the Thunder Master, you can also join the Royal Knights, so that you may get. Chin Nan couldn't hold on any longer and almost roared, is it easy to get the magic potion? Magic potions. It seems. Probably. There may be limitations, and adding these two may not necessarily result in obtaining magic potions. The originally golden font instantly turned blue, and in the end, a begging villain's portrait appeared. Chin Nan didn't ask further because at this moment, he had a severe headache. This magic mirror is too exhausting to use. After resting for half an hour, Chin Nan finally recovered for the most part. Looking at the quiet magic mirror and goose feather pen, I thought to myself about the magic potion that the mirror had said. To become extraordinary, one must take potions. And the magic potion seems to be in the hands of the church and the royal family, and only by joining these two can one possibly obtain the magic potion. Of course, the greater possibility is that adding these two may not necessarily lead to obtaining magic potions. Just as Chin Nan was pondering his next steps, a bell rang. This is an ancient clock placed in the study, which rings once every 10 p.m. to urge Chin Nan to rest. Looking at the modeled ancient clock, Chin Nan thought of what should have happened tomorrow morning in his memory. Tomorrow morning, someone will discover Amy's death. Just as everyone was in shock, Gardner Link was dug out of his heart by an unknown presence. The mysterious death of Link and Amy will completely immerse the entire estate in a state of fear. Now the evil spirit that dealt with Amy has been killed by himself, leaving only the evil spirit that unknowingly dug into Link's heart. What should we do? Tell Justin. But there is basically no possibility for him to believe it. 
so, directly seizing the power of Justin. Chi Nan thought to himself that doing so was also very difficult. In the end, Chi Nan's gaze fell on the goose feather pen. After hesitating for a moment, he picked up the goose feather pen and wrote in his notebook, Tomorrow morning, Link will raise a fire. The evil spirit will attach itself to a withered leaf in order to approach Link. The withered leaves and branches are thrown into the fire, and the evil spirit is burned to death. Writing such a line in his notebook made Chin Nan feel dizzy and dizzy, so he quickly put down his quill pen. After completing all of this, Chin Nan returned to his bedroom. Lying on a spring bed made of oak, Chin Nan began to think about the magic potion. Should I join the Thunder Church or become a member of the Royal Knights in order to obtain a potion? Once promoted to become a superhero, one will not be helpless in such a situation and will not be in the danger that follows upon this thought, Chin Nan felt that his spirit was a bit sluggish. With the change of spirit, Chin Nan remembered the line of words he had written. Can this line of words be fulfilled as desired? If possible, is there still black stone produced, if not, then the ability of this feather pen is questionable. The night slowly descended, and Chin Nan, who was burdened with a heavy heart, fell asleep at some point. This sleep was very sweet. New day seeking support, don't miss any favorites or recommendations. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. A Script Out of Control. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6. A Script Out of Control in the Morning, a ray of sunshine shone through the window into Chin Nan's room. Chin Nan was preparing to take another nap after tightening some of the old floral velvet. Before he could enjoy two minutes, he was awakened by a hurried knocking on the door. A hoarse shout followed. Lord, your training time has passed fifteen minutes, please wake up immediately. Upon hearing this hoarse voice, a face flashed through Chin Nan's mind. It was a man with scars on his face, and he was over two meters tall with red hair. The leader of Sheffield Manor's guards, Pulleys, a warrior who has participated in three sacred wars. If it were the owner, they would definitely curl up in a velvet blanket, waiting to be carried away by Pulleys. But Chin Nan couldn't be as shameless as his master, so he quickly put on his clothes and walked out. Lord, your training task today is to swing the sword a hundred times. Pulleys was surprised to see Chin Nan wake up so quickly. Chin Nan nodded, but remembered the death of Pulleys in his heart. In his memory, Pulleys wildly swung his giant sword, but a dozen or so bodies filled with machinery drowned him out but the death of Pulleys was the most heroic in the entire estate, as he fought until the end. Chin Nan found it difficult to lift the thirty-pound two-handed sword, let alone swing it a hundred times. It was not an easy task. In Chin Nan's memory, Little Anton's best score was 30 beats. Although Pulleys has been constantly raising his expectations for Little Anton, his performance has never improved. 1, 2, 3. Chin Nan swung his heavy sword desperately, feeling exhausted as he swung it to the twentieth stroke. Persist, persist, persist although I don't know what the use of a pay will be in the future, Chin Nan believes that improving one's strength is always beneficial for himself. When he swung it thirty-five times, Chin Nan felt that his arm was almost disabled, and he felt that he really couldn't hold on anymore. Just as he was about to give up, Naples loudly said, Inhale, exhale, inhale, breathe the way I taught you. At this moment, Chin Nan's head was blank, and out of instinct, he breathed wildly according to Pulleys's request. Inhale, exhale, inhale I don't know how long it took, but Chin Nan felt like he was already a bit sluggish. But at this moment, he felt a force emerge from his body. This is because of the appearance of this force, Chin Nan felt his body incredibly comfortable, and even had a feeling of wanting to float. Wave the heavy sword, wave the heavy sword again, stop. With Pulleys's heavy drink, Chin Nan lowered his heavy sword in his hand. At this moment, he was already sweating profusely and his clothes were mostly wet. Lord, today is not bad. With this kind of exercise, one day you will surpass me, said Pulleys with a rare smile on his face. 
Chi Nan glanced at Mr. Pulleys, who laughed more unsightly than he cried. At that moment, Chi Nan really wanted to give him a piece of advice. If you don't know how to laugh, don't force yourself. Mr. Pulleys, do you think I can become extraordinary after exercising? Chi Nan looked at Pulleys and pretended to yearn. Of course, Pulleys didn't know that the lord he was loyal to had already been replaced by another person. As soon as Chi Nan mentioned being extraordinary, Pulleys's face showed a drunken expression, and then he said to Chi Nan, exercise cannot become extraordinary. This sentence surprised Chi Nan. He was already prepared to be deceived by kindness, but he didn't expect Mr. Pulleys to be so straightforward. To become extraordinary, one needs magic potions, Pulleys said solemnly. But the recipe for magic potions is only in the hands of a few people. Can we make a purchase? Chin Nan asked curiously. Purchase. This. This should be possible, Pulleys shook his head and said, but the value of a potion is too high. This estate should be able to buy a potion. Moreover, taking potions does not necessarily lead to becoming extraordinary, as the result of taking potions is likely to be a mutation or death. Just as Chin Nan was about to consult about what mutation was, he suddenly saw a black smoke rising into the sky. Link is burning dead branches again, and Zistin has warned him many times. He just can't remember. It seems that he should be whipped. Pulleys looked at black smoke and said to Chin Nan. Chin Nan looked at the serious Kazidang, and a glimmer of anticipation flashed in his heart. He couldn't wait to say, let's go and teach Link a lesson. After speaking, without waiting for Pulleys to speak, he walked towards the direction of the black smoke. Pulley Chi looked at Chin Nan's back with a hint of a smile in his eyes, but the smile quickly turned into worry. The death of Ma Fu Yulo made him realize that there was an extraordinary force paying attention here, and under this force, he himself was powerless. Thunder is above, I hope everything can get better, murmured Pulleys, his worries growing a bit more. Link was happily burning the dead branches, and he liked to hear the crackling sound. However, upon seeing Chin Nan, his joyful face immediately turned into a bitter gourd. I have sworn not to burn any more dead branches. What's going on today? How could I light the dead branches again? While complaining about himself, he begged for mercy and said, Lord, I didn't mean to. Please spare me this time. Looking at Link with an innocent expression on his face, Chin Nan suddenly thought of the goose feather pen. This thing is really not very useful. Just as Link stood up to extinguish the fire, Chin Nan had already waved his hand and stopped, it's already burned, let it burn out. Forget it this time, but let's not do it again. The withered branches were burning happily, and in the blink of an eye, most of them had already burned without any screams, but Chin Nan saw a black stone. Without hesitation, Chin Nan quickly picked up the black small stone and held it, feeling a hint of anticipation in his heart. This time, he must use good steel on the blade. But just as Chin Nan picked up the small stone, a mournful shout came from the direction of the kitchen. Not good, the cook Lilia is dead, the cook Lilia is dead. Upon hearing this shout, Link and Pulleys both rushed over, while Chin Nan was stunned. He felt like something inexplicable had nailed his feet, unable to move at all. Although the cook Lilith will die, she should die on the fourth day. Now it's only the next day. Why did she die? All of this is clearly out of one's own control. New books for recommendation and collection, don't forget to collect them, everyone. End of this chapter. Chapter 7. Eliminating Evil. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 Eliminating Evil The cook Lilith is a chubby woman, and although the food she cooks is not very delicious, she is very kind. In little Anton's memory, she was a person who laughed at everyone. But now, she's dead. Her already chubby figure has swollen like a ball, making her head and legs look incredibly eerie. Lord, Lilith is bloating from eating. She has eaten too much. Pulleys looked at Chin Nan and said, Lord, let Butler Ziston handle it. 
you find a place to rest. Kaziding is a good butler, but he cannot handle this mysterious event, otherwise the ten-day scene in Qin Nan's memory would not have appeared. But how should we seize power from Zistin's hands? Qin Nan left the kitchen surrounded by several estate servants. At this moment, he felt that the crisis was getting closer and closer to him. The cook who died on the fourth day died, which means that he is not safe now. Maybe he who should have died on the tenth day could be finished today. We can't wait any longer, we must mobilize all the forces we can. Lord! Amy looked at Qin Nan with trembling fear, crying. Qin Nan wanted to comfort Amy with a few words. It was estimated that this little maid needed to give her a sense of security, but in the end, he returned to his study expressionless. Amy followed behind Qin Nan step by step, with a heavy heart on her face. Seeing Amy coming in, Qin Nan prepared to drive her away. Unfortunately, it's too late. Just as Qin Nan was about to speak, he suddenly felt his body out of control. This. This is the aftermath of using a goose feather pen. Tonight, come to my dormitory to find me, wait for you. This sentence was spoken without any control from Qin Nan. Upon hearing these words, Amy was momentarily stunned and then fled like a frightened little rabbit. Qin Nan shook his head as he watched the maid flee in despair. The sequelae of this goose feather pen seem to only occur when approaching the goose feather pen, and if not approaching the goose feather pen, it will not appear. Remembering this important information silently, Qin Nan's gaze fell on the magic mirror. Mirror, how did the cook Lilith die? Qin Nan felt that he was still in good spirits and asked towards Mirror. Dear Master, your question is beyond the scope of the humble Mirror's answer. Simply put, your question is beyond my ability. If. Rows of golden handwriting quickly appeared, and Qin Nan felt a little annoyed as he looked at these contents. Damn the magic mirror, it's so verbose. Magic mirror, how can we avoid the sequelae caused by goose feather pens? Qin Nan quickly changed the question and didn't want to continue to entangle with this magic mirror. Great master, we are all created by you, and we are all loyal to you, so please do not let us hurt each other. Looking at the rows of golden handwriting, Qin Nan felt a wave of impatience. He knew that if he continued to ask like this, the magic mirror still didn't know what kind of moth to come up with. Be honest, otherwise I'll smash you. Master, the goose feather pen is a bully, and I can't beat him. If I mention his shortcomings, he will smash me. A line of pale green words instantly replaced the golden handwriting. The lofty reasons just now were indeed excuses. Qin Nan didn't want to waste his mental energy asking these useless questions anymore, so he immediately continued, I have added another evolution point now. Can you evolve if I add it to you? My great master, I have completed the initial evolution. Your initial evolution point has no meaning to me anymore. The purple handwriting quickly reflected, and Qin Nan felt that this demon mirror was looking at him with a proud and delicate face. Initial evolution, initial evolution point looking at the content of the handwriting that he didn't quite understand, Qin Nan frowned and continued, who do you think would be most useful for me as an evolutionary point? Master, you already have plans in your heart. Why bother testing me again? The font was changed to green, as if feeling very aggrieved. Well, these words belonging to the world of Little Anton are not so cute. Qin Nan ignored the magic mirror and chatted with this guy, which was too exhausting. Take out the revolver that shimmered with silver light, and Qin Nan gently wiped it with the velvet cloth under the pistol. The revolver with six bullets, with an effective distance of less than 100 meters, was a gift given by someone related to little Anton. However, in this round, the lost young Anton did not use it. I hope this pistol can bring me a solution to the problem. Having made up his mind, Qin Nan quickly absorbed the stone in his hand. When you had an evolutionary point in that line, please choose the word, use item, to appear, and Qin Nan pointed his finger on the silver revolver. The evolution of the revolver has been successful, 
and the bullets fired from this revolver have a killing effect. A handgun with a killing effect. Hee hee, isn't this exactly what I need right now? Chin Nan was overjoyed, but the words that came to his mind next made most of Chin Nan's good mood disappear. Side effect. The second shot will never hit the target. What side effect is this? Can only fire one shot at a time. Chin Nan looked at the slightly smaller revolver and wanted to communicate with it. Unfortunately, the only one who can communicate with him is the nagging silver mirror. With this revolver, I have finally gained some attack power against evil spirits. As for the rest, we will discuss it later. Chin Nan, who had comforted himself, had just put away his revolver when he heard someone say, Lord, may I come in? The person knocking on the door was Justin, and his face, covered in wind and frost, was now filled with a sense of solemnity. As he walked in, he looked at the box containing the revolver and said, Lord, it's best not to move the pistol. If it were in the past, this Zistin would definitely lecture him incessantly, but this time, the butler is not in the mood, and he has more important things to attend to. Lord, something bad has happened to the estate. I have already asked someone to hire a pastor, and I believe it will be resolved soon. Please don't leave the study in the next few days, Lord. I will have Mr. Pulleys lead someone to guard around this study. Although Kaziding was a butler, at this moment, his words could not tolerate Chin Nan's resistance. Chin Nan looked at the magic mirror and goose feather pen and said to himself that I had prepared everything, but you asked me to wait here. How could this be done? Resistance. Chin Nan is not little Anton, he doesn't know how to express his dissatisfaction with a roar. Looking at Zistin, who was deeply concerned, he nodded meekly. After Kaziding bid farewell and left, Chin Nan picked up a goose feather pen and wrote in his notebook, thirty seconds later, Kaziding walked down the stairs with a restless mind. He stepped out of nowhere and knocked himself unconscious. A new day, a new beginning, and don't miss out on favorites and recommendations. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 What do you see? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 What do you see Justin walk down the wooden stairs with a heavy heart? He has walked this staircase for many years, and he is already familiar with it. At this time, he is somewhat absent-minded. The reason for this is because of the deaths of the cook and the groom. He was deeply aware that Sheffield Manor had caused a big trouble. However, as the manager of this estate, Ziston didn't know what to do. Even now, he was already a bit panicked. Yesterday he had already sent someone to find the pastor, who should have come, but until now, there has been no news at all. This gives him an ominous feeling. Amidst his restlessness, he suddenly felt empty under his feet, and Justin felt like he was flying in the clouds and falling to the ground. Without time to react, Ziston felt his head fall to the ground first, then his eyes darkened and he fell to the ground. Upon hearing the commotion, Chin Nan walked out of the room. Glancing at Ziston who had fallen to the ground, he shook his head. This loyal old servant should not receive such treatment, but there is no way. If he does not hand over his power, the entire estate will die. For the sake of the entire estate, I can only ask old Ziston to rest more. Chin Nan, who was silently reciting in his heart, quickly saw Amy running out. The panicked girl first saw Ziston lying to the ground, and then saw Chin Nan on the stairs. Chin Nan was about to command Amy to help Zisiding up, but when he spoke, his mouth once again lost control. The sequelae, this unlucky sequelae is here again. Chin Nan, whose body had lost control, smiled at Amy's evil charm and said, What did you just see? I, I didn't see anything. Amy was a little flustered. Chin Nan suddenly thought, did Amy think that Kaziding's fall from the stairs was related to herself? This weird goose feather pen is really despicable. You'll take Ziston and rest for a while. Amy dared not neglect the Lord's orders at all. Although she was gentle and weak, it was not too difficult for her to help the old butler. The news of Ziston's fall quickly gathered the estate steward, 
and among them, the most prestigious one should be Pulleys. Pulleys served as a soldier and was in charge of the defense of the estate. When Justin was alive, his position in the estate was second only to Justin. Now that Justin has fallen, everyone is looking at him with a panicked gaze. The butler just fell down, said Pulleys, who checked Ziston's condition. Everyone is busy, and the butler will wake up soon. Pulleys's words slightly calmed everyone's emotions, but the deaths of the cook and groom still filled the estate with a sense of fear. Mr. Pulleys, I don't think we can do this now. Chi Nan took a step forward and said without a doubt, at present, the most important thing for the entire estate is to make everyone feel at ease. In the past, Justin could do this, but now that he's injured, I think I should make everyone feel that the estate can protect them. Pulleys was taken aback for a moment. He had gone to the battlefield and naturally knew the dangers of human anxiety, but in this situation, all he could do was make everyone perform their duties. As for calming people's hearts, he has thought about it, but his status and prestige make it difficult for him to achieve anything in a short period of time. Your Highness, what do you mean? Gather the escort team and walk around the entire estate with me, Chin Nan arranged without hesitation. After hesitating for a moment, Pulleys respectfully agreed, Your Highness, as you wish. Five minutes later, Chin Nan rode a poor horse that was as high as his shoulder, holding a walnut cane in one hand and the evolved revolver pinned to his waist. Then, surrounded by ten men holding match guns and wearing tattered clothes, he began a grand tour of the manor. No one knew that when Chin Nan got on the horse, he had already put the gilded magic mirror into his hat, which was a foot high. At this time, the estate is in the season of blooming spring flowers, with various unknown flowers competing and making the vast estate full of vitality. Although most of the houses in the estate are wooden houses with herringbone roofs, everything is completely orderly. However, at this moment, the servants in the estate were all looking panicked. It is obvious that the cook's eerie way of death has made them feel insecure. The fully armed appearance of Chin Nan and others gave many people hope in their eyes. They boldly approached Chin Nan and respectfully saluted, I have seen the Lord. Chin Nan observed the situation around him and responded to the greetings with a faint smile. But as he walked for a long time, the magic mirror hidden in his hat began to feel a bit heavy. The area where the estate resides, which is one square kilometer, took Chin Nan half an hour to walk around the estate. Lord, your circle is very useful, and most people feel a lot of peace of mind. Pulleys held a hunting gun in his hand, and at this moment, he appeared murderous. Chi Nan nodded and said, Our top priority now is not only to appease people's hearts, but also to uncover the truth of the matter. Pulleys's face changed greatly. He dared not let the esteemed Lord take risks, hesitated for a moment, and finally advised, Lord, maybe it was just an accident. Chi Nan remained silent and went straight up to the second floor after returning to his residence. Although Pulleys seemed to follow his own arrangements, his attitude made Chi Nan feel that he couldn't fully believe it. Mirror, have you found the enemy yet? Chi Nan picked up a floral glass and took a sip of water, then took out the magic mirror from his hat. Great master, taking the magic mirror out was your wisest decision this time. In the forest on the west side of the estate, there is a death wizard who is preparing to advance, and those evil spirits are all summoned by him. What Chi Nan used to dislike the most was the verbosity of the magic mirror, but now, looking at the lines of font on the magic mirror, his eyes are more solemn. Death wizard, prepare to advance to death wizard. Chi Nan himself has no impression of the death wizard, while it seems that little Anton only knew about terrifying characters like the Death Wizard in his childhood stories. How strong is a Death Wizard's combat power? Just as Chin Nan was preparing to inquire carefully, in the forest on the west side of the estate, a middle dot aged man in black clothes with a pale face suddenly opened his tightly closed eyes. Someone is peeping at me. A week without recommendations, full of helpless and weak kittens seeking support. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Promotion Ceremony. You are listening at novelfull.audio.
Chapter 9 Promotion Ceremony, Underneath the Earth, Walking in the Darkness, The Dead Need Your Help. A voice without any emotion spewed out from the thin-faced middle-aged man's mouth, accompanied by this spell, phantom shadows appeared silently in the forest. Some virtual shadows have particularly large mouths, some have only the upper body, and even some seem to be separated directly from the middle, still missing too. The middle-aged man looked carefully at these phantom figures, his expression serious. Originally, he didn't pay much attention to this task. In his eyes, a small estate was easily captured. The reason why he did not kill it all at once was mainly because he was preparing to use the destruction of the estate to complete his promotion ceremony. Once he becomes a level 7 death summoner, he doesn't have to hide and seek like he does now. Any changes? In a moment of thought, the person rubbed the dark ring in his hand fiercely. In an instant, a figure wearing a black tailcoat and a round top hat over a foot high appeared on his left side. And his body began to fade, quickly transforming into a ghost. After completing all of this, the man said leisurely, let's set off after dark and see what dangers exist in this estate. Although it's a bit rushed to reach the peak of the entire ceremony in just three days, it's not bad to finish it earlier with the god of death at hand. Chin Nan naturally didn't know the man's plan, but at this moment, all he had in mind was to take action first. Although I'm not sure, being the first to take action is much stronger than being constantly passive in defense. What is the weakness of a death wizard? Chin Nan felt numb, but he still asked the magic mirror carefully. The death wizard is currently in the eighth sequence of psychics in the path of death. He can activate a large number of low-dot-level undead creatures and even use death doubles to hide his true position. Great master, although you are talented and jealous of both gods and humans, your loyal subordinates still do not approve of you provoking this necromancer now. Because the gap between you is too big, he is a superhero in sequence 8, and you have not yet become a superhero. Sequence 8. For the extraordinary, although Chin Nen only has some vague understanding, he knows that it is already difficult to deal with a lowest order extraordinary, let alone a sequence 8 death wizard. But if you don't kill this death wizard, he will kill himself. Chin Nan was thinking about the groom and cook who died mysteriously, and the situation in his memory where the entire estate was about to die within ten days, which left him with lingering palpitations. He knows he has no way out. What level should you and the goose feather pen belong to? Chin Nan calculated the resources he could use and asked the magic mirror again. Respected master, my magic mirror is a unique treasure in heaven and earth. If you compare me to a feather pen, wouldn't it be insulting? Although a great master is not wrong, my wounded heart needs to be comforted. Please, sir. Chin Nan's eyebrows furrowed as he not only had a headache, but his mind was also in a mess. This damn magic mirror, there's too much nonsense. Can't you be less narcissistic and tell me something serious? I'll warn you again, get to the point. Chin Nan said fiercely, disregarding his demeanor. The magic mirror heard Chin Nan's threat, and the golden handwriting on the mirror immediately turned pale. Great master, Please temporarily extinguish your thunderous anger. I will give you the answer you want now. The abilities of the little goose and the little gun are relatively low, and they have abilities belonging to sequence 9. Master, you cannot place too much hope on them, because they are destined to turn the owner's hope into disappointment and a cold heart. Sequence 9. My three items all belong to sequence 9. A hint of madness flashed in Chin Nan's eyes. Although there is a great gap between the extraordinary, the possibility of success is still high if one calculates without thinking. If one blindly waits passively, the ultimate result is likely to be death while waiting. Taking out the silver revolver, Chin Nan caressed the cold barrel of the gun and fell into a state of calmness. He put down his pistol, then picked up a quill pen, pondered for a moment, and wrote a line of words in his notebook after completing all of this, Chin Nan shook the silver bell on the table, and soon Amy ran in with a hint of timidity. 
Her shy little appearance is like a pure white rabbit looking for a big gray wolf. Lord, now. It's already noon. Before Chi Nan could speak, Amy muttered softly. Listening to these words, Chi Nan felt a bit helpless. Ah, I miss my lifelong fame and have fallen into the hands of this feather pen. Am I the kind of person who is not picky or picky, digging into the basket and finding vegetables? This underestimates my taste too much. He sternly scolded, what are you thinking every day, little head? In the future, read the Thunder Salvation Sutra a few more times every day to purify your dirty thoughts. Amy was stunned, her small face blushing with embarrassment. She looked out at Chi Nan in frustration and lowered her head in embarrassment. Whose thoughts need purification, Lord? Don't you have any points in your heart? But when Amy thought of housekeeper Ziston rolling down the stairs and falling, she wisely closed her mouth. Let Mr. Pulleys come to my place. Amy hurriedly ran out of the study like she had been granted amnesty, looking like she had narrowly escaped death. Fifteen minutes later, Pulleys, with two revolvers pinned to his waist, came to Chin Nan's face. Amy told me that she saw a stranger in the forest to the west of the estate yesterday. Take the patrol team and come with me to take a look. Chin Nan didn't explain too much to Pulleys, but arranged it directly. Upon hearing Chin Nan's arrangement, Pulleys frowned and said seriously, Lord, if we go out rashly like this, there is a high possibility of problems. I know it's not right to leave rashly, but will you continue to stay here and wait for death? Chin Nan looked at Pulleys and said, those evil spirits won't come just by waiting for them. The only thing we can do now is to see if the guns in our hands can kill the person who instigated the conspiracy. If you're afraid of death, stay here. Chin Nan's words were so firm that Pulleys's face instantly turned red. He was the second only person in the manor to Zisiding, and at this moment, he was snatched away by Chin Nan, leaving him speechless. Moreover, as the person in charge of managing the manor's military force, if he doesn't attack at this time, he probably won't have the face to stay in the manor. Lord, as you wish, but I think the person Amy saw might have left long ago, said Pulleys, bowing before summoning the estate patrol. Chin Nan shook his head as he watched Pulleys leave. He knew in his heart that this attack would never fail. New week, seeking support, recommendations, and collections, end of this chapter. Chapter 10. Proactive Attack. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Proactive Attack More than a dozen patrol members carrying matchline guns appeared extremely nervous at this moment. The mysterious death of the groom Yu Lu and the cook plunged the entire estate into deep fear. These patrol officers, although formidable in the estate, are very wary of the unknown. Lord, there's nothing here. I think we should go back as soon as possible, said a middle-aged man with a red beard and a hazy gaze. Chin Nan was holding the silver mutated revolver in his hand, and he was equally nervous at this moment. The magic mirror is still hidden in his tall cylindrical hat, and Chin Nan, dressed in hunting gear, gives off a sense of heroism. As the strong man with a red beard spoke, almost all his gaze turned to pulleys. Although Anton, the incarnation of Chin Nan, is a nobleman, he is still young, has no hair on his mouth, and is not reliable in handling affairs. Pulleys remained silent. He was forced by Chin Nan, and in his heart, he didn't quite agree with Chin Nan's reckless actions. Now, since someone has come forward, he hopes that little Anton can change his mind, after all, doing so is too reckless. Chin Nan saw that Pulleys had not spoken, and everyone's eyes were focused on him, knowing that at this moment, he could not make a decision. Rudin, the previous one to die was the cook, and the previous one to die was Yu Lu. Are you sure the next one to die won't be you? Chin Nan glanced at the strong man with a red beard and asked calmly, if those strange evil spirits come to you, do you guarantee that you will definitely survive? Rudin with a red beard twitched his facial muscles. Although he was reckless, he was not unaware of his fear. The groom Yulu was personally buried by him, 
and he had a very clear view of Yu Li's situation. He knew that Yu Lu was a person who was no weaker than him in terms of strength. Such a person is dead, how can he resist evil spirits? And you, you, and you, do you think hiding means the evil spirit won't come to you? What a joke! Our only choice now is to take advantage of our current strength and fight against the evil spirit. If we wait for the majority of our casualties, then we are truly on a dead end. Rudin took a step back and dared not speak, while those who were originally hesitant had complex expressions. To deal with this evil spirit, we should indeed take action. Otherwise, waiting for him to find us would be like throwing bricks across the wall and smashing anyone down. It's unlucky. Pulleys looked at Anton riding on the slow horse, feeling a bit dazed. He felt as if the young lord in front of him had suddenly grown up. Chin Nan looked at his subordinates who had regained their composure and breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. Just now, he was ready to take action. Although the current empire has begun to elevate the status of servants, as a lord, he still holds the corresponding power. If these people continue to be unaware of their progress, they will have to resort to extreme measures. Although this method is not something he is willing to do, in the face of danger, he must grasp all the power he can hold in his hands. The maple tree with a thick bull mouth has begun to turn green, and among the layers of green grass, the three-colored velvet grass is becoming more and more dazzling. If it were usual, Chin Nan would definitely feel that the scenery here is picturesque, but now, Chin Nan has no intention of appreciating it. Did you find anything? Chin Nan communicated with the magic mirror with his own spirit. Taking the magic mirror around the manor, Chin Nan discovered another magical use of the mirror, which was that he didn't have to constantly watch the mirror. As long as he thought about the mirror in his heart, the mirror could communicate with him. This kind of communication will appear in Chin Nan's heart. However, compared to normal communication, this type of communication consumes more mental energy. Great master, you have just arrived at the edge of the forest. The range I can explore is still too small, but I have already felt the aura of swallowing evil spirits. I believe that this low dot level evil spirit cannot hide from the great master. The golden handwriting appeared line by line in Chin Nan's heart, and he felt his temples throbbing with pain. This magic mirror is good for everything, but its mouth is too broken. If it could change his broken habit, it would be perfect. Shut up. Chin Nan scolded with great care towards the golden handwriting, and then ordered, keep moving forward, no one is allowed to fall behind, search for the entire forest. Although police did not agree with Chin Nan's orders, he was now a complete executor, walking ahead with a red-bearded Rudin, occasionally observing the movements around him. Ten meters, one hundred meters, one thousand meters after advancing a thousand meters in the forest, a line of text suddenly came to Chin Nan's mind. Be careful, great master, they are right ahead. Upon seeing this line of text, Chin Nan waved his hand and said, Stop. For pulleys and others, this journey was not too tiring, but due to high mental tension, almost everyone was ready to sit down as soon as they heard Chin Nan's instructions. There is someone ahead, be on guard. Chin Nan loudly reminded, and just as Chin Nan spoke, a half-body phantom with missing feet suddenly drifted out eerily. He didn't take immediate action, just hung quietly in mid-air. This situation looks very eerie. Even veterans like pulleys who have experienced many wars cannot help but feel scared. Shoot, shoot at evil spirits. Although Chin Nan didn't know if shooting was useful, he immediately instructed the soldiers. Bang bang bang. A few gunshots had just echoed in the void, and a fearful roar sounded not far from Chin Nan. Just in front of Rudin, who was pulling the bolt of the gun, a ghost with only a head appeared, opening its mouth wide and biting at him. Run! Rudin almost immediately threw the gun in his hand to the ground, scattered his feet, and fled desperately. At the same time, other patrol members also hastily fled. Police fired a shot at the half-body ghost, and the moment the shot rang, a baby fist-sized gap appeared in the half-body ghost's abdomen. 
but the half-body ghost still pounced towards him. Don't be afraid, let's gather together and shoot. Only in this way can we have a way out. Pulisa's cheers were correct, but those patrol members were already frightened birds, and no one listened to him at all. They were running around in all directions, but during this hasty escape, someone had already twisted their neck with a palm protruding from the ground. Also, his expression was dull, as if he had suddenly become foolish. Chin Nan didn't have much hope for this patrol team, but their collapse was also too fast. Chin Nan, who was urged to sit on the slow horse, tightly held the silver gun in his hand. Just then, a figure floated out from the depths of the forest. New book seeking support, big shots, collect and recommend not a single one, end of this chapter.